Hey everybody, my name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching today. As a church, we are wanting the voice of faith to be a life-changing message. We want to spread encouragement and spread God as much as we can. Today, we pray that you are filled with faith and filled with hope as you hear the voice of faith. Check out this message from Pastor Martin. Hello, Faith World. Welcome back to the Voice of Faith broadcast. This is Pastor Martin Hernandez. I want you to go with me to Acts chapter 13. We're going to read verses 38. To 39. And I want you to pay a very close attention because we're going to be taking communion in this uh, segment. And I want you to pay very close attention because this is what Paul preached throughout his life here on this earth. He said this in verse 38, Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. And by him all that believe are justified from all things from which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. This is what Paul preached, church. And no matter what any other person may uh, debate or disagree with what I'm saying right now, I'm going to tell you exactly what Paul preached because this is what Jesus commissioned the church to preach. He said this, he wants you to know these things. He wants you to know that your sins have been forgiven, not just your past sins, but your present and your future sins. All your sins have been once and for all forgiven and completely clean. Your slate is brand new. Your slate is clean before him. Not only that, but the Bible says you have been justified from all things. In other words, you have been declared righteous from all things. All things means your past, present, and future. So not only have your sins been forgiven, but you are eternally righteous from the moment you accepted Jesus to the day you go home to be with Jesus. You are eternally righteous here on this earth. And the thing is, how does this happen? And this is where a lot of people get a lot of disagreements with. People say, well, you gotta live a holy life, which in part is true. People say you gotta confess the word, you gotta do a, do a, lot, of these, uh, a lot of these things to try to be righteous, to be justified. But Paul made it very clear. He said, you are justified by who you believe. All that believe, the Bible says, because you couldn't be justified by the law of Moses. If you recall, the law of Moses is more than just the Ten Commandments. It is 613 laws. And the Bible says over there in, in James that if you're guilty in one, you're guilty of the whole thing. So really, there's no one in this earth that can actually perfect or fulfill or complete in the requirements of the law except one. And that was the one who wrote it. And that is Jesus. Jesus came into this earth, fulfilled all things so that through him, by faith, you can be the one receiving the credit of the one that fulfilled everything. That is the new covenant that we live by today, folks, whether you know it or not. In, in fact, Galatians chapter 2, verse 16, the Bible says this, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. It's pretty interesting because Paul, again, is saying the same thing here in Galatians, what he said over there in Acts chapter 13. So Paul's lifestyle was simply this, believe on Jesus, you're justified, declared righteous, and you are redeemed from the works of the law. You cannot be justified by the works of the law. In fact, in this verse, three times, Paul mentioned that you can't be justified by the law of Moses. Three times, Paul stressed that continually in his ministry, that you cannot be justified by the law of Moses. And here today in 2020, wherever you may be watching right now, you cannot be justified by the law of Moses because it's already been fulfilled. It's already been completed. And the one that completed it was not you. The one that completed it is Jesus. So see, God wants you to know this. You're justified by faith of Jesus and not by the works of the law. Colossians chapter 2, verse 13 says this, and you... You, who's watching, being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, have he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. I want you to say that word with me. Say all. All means all. Not some, not half, not just your past trespasses, but all of them. Jesus has forgiven you of all trespasses. So really, the question is this. Paul, again, in Romans chapter 3, verse 27 to 28, Paul says this, where is the boasting then? It is excluded by what? By the law? Because that's what Paul is saying. By what law? 
of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore, we conclude. What do we conclude, Paul? We conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Again, Paul is stressing that truth. And this is the truth. My friend, my believer, you are justified by faith apart from the works of the law. Why? Because Jesus already fulfilled it. Our part is the law of faith. Our part is believing that Jesus is our substitute. Believing that Jesus is the ultimate fulfiller. So why do we take communion? We take communion to embrace that Jesus paid it all. He paid it all. And when we embrace that truth, we now begin to walk in the manifestation of what he sowed here on this earth. And that was his own body. That was his own blood. We just reap the benefits. We're the beneficiaries. Jesus is the testator. Hebrews talks about that. So let's do that right now. I want you to lift up the bread and I want you to embrace your identity. Well, you may not be sick I, I, or you may not be battling with anything right now, but this is something you need to know. You're in Christ and taking communion is a recognition of who you are in Christ. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up this bread, we lift up this cup together right now, and we thank you that when we take these elements, we embrace that Jesus has forgiven us of all of our sins. Jesus has already healed us 2,000 years ago. Jesus has fulfilled all things that pertain to our life and godliness, and Jesus has fulfilled the law so that we do not abide by the principles of the law of Moses anymore, but we abide upon the principle of the law of faith. And that faith is in us to reach out and grip anything that pertains to our life and godliness and bring it forth to manifestation. We lift this bread up right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want you to take the cup right now and I want you to just thank him for the cup. Thank him for what he's fulfilled. None of what I just said right now could not be possible. None of it can be possible without the shedding of blood. So we just thank you, Father, for the blood, and we praise you for it in Jesus' name. Now I just want you to thank him. I want you to worship him. This Friday night, whatever day you're watching right now, I want you to thank him because Jesus has fulfilled it. And remember, he is your identity. And there's nothing that can be able to separate you from that truth. We love you. We're praying for you. And the best is yet to come. God bless you, everybody. Thank you so much for watching today. As you know, with everything happening today, it is vital that Faith World is able to continue to spread Jesus. We cannot do this without you, the church. So at the end of each video, we always want to give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. The ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, please email, message us, or call the church so that we can pray with you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you tomorrow. But before you go, here are some announcements to keep you informed with what's going on at Faith World Church. Hey church, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Casey and these are your church announcements. If you're looking for a home church, join the Faith World family. We're having a great time serving and learning about the life that we have in Christ. So if you don't have a church family, we say to you, welcome home. Ladies, the Women's Bible Study is restarting on August 4th from 10 a.m. at the home of Verna Swizek. To learn more or for directions, please see Verna or visit the info card in the lobby. Men's Retreat is right around the corner. It's going to be August 24th through 27th at Convict Lake. The cost is $175, which includes all meals and lodging. Enjoy the great outdoors, fun activity, and great fellowship. Make sure to register by July 26th. Church, we have a new app. Make sure to download yours today by searching your app store for the Church Center app. Once you download yours, you can register for Faith World Church in Hemet. With this new app, you can give and see everything that is going on at Faith World Church. 
Ladies, it is time to register for this year's Courageous Conference 2020. It's going to be October 15th through 17th in beautiful Lake Arrowhead. The cost is going to be $170, which includes all meals. Register in the lobby or online. The deadline is going to be on October 4th. We will be updating you to our COVID-19 guidelines for the stay, but we are so excited for this very special conference, so make sure not to delay your registration. Faith World ladies, get ready for Girls' Night Out. It's going to be on August 18th, and it will be a fun night of fellowship, dinner, giveaways, and powerful teaching from a special guest, Reverend Elaine Croucher. This will be held at our Hammock campus, and it kicks off at 6.30 p.m., and you must pre-register in the lobby or online. The cost is $10 and registration ends on Sunday, August 9th. Hey, Faith World, you can now purchase all of our official Faith World apparel online at our website, faithworld.church. You can buy the new hats, the new shirts, and also all of the men's ministry Elevate hats and shirts on there as well. Make sure to get yours today. Thank you so much for being with us today. Make sure to follow us on our Instagram and join our other online broadcasts and services that we have throughout the week on our YouTube channel and our Facebook. You can also continue to sow financial seed by giving on the church app and our text to give system. Thank you so much for being with us today and have a blessed week.